And we should note Neil made Aliyah with the cooperation or assistance of Nefesh Benefesh, uh, cooperation with the Ministry of Aliyah and Int Integration, the Jewish Agency, KKL, and Jewish National Fund. Joining us now in studio, actress, comedian, producer, former congressional candidate, Diane Neal. Quite a resume. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, first of all, welcome me. to I-24 News and welcome to Israel. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I want to start by asking yeah, yeah. you about your, your Jewish roots, which I gather are maybe a little complicated because I've read you've described yourself. I don't know, is a Mormon Jew, a Jewish Mormon? It's, it's, your family went through some kind of religious odyssey? Yeah, well, it's it's um, it's less of a, like, a religious odyssey. It's more like just one side and the other side, okay. right? So my, my mom is Jewish, and then, of course, like a Jewish woman of the 60s, mm -hmm. her Jewishness came out mostly in social activism, that kind of thing. And then uh, my dad... Uh, converted to Mormonism. And then, of course, my grandmother, she, her family was Orthodox. And my great grandmother, it's so crazy now that, to me, I was thinking about this on the ride over here, it's our great-grandparents' generation mm -hmm. that escaped the Holocaust now. Mm -hmm. So of that family, um, basically two kids made it. One came to Israel, one went to New York, and everyone else died. Right. And, you know, like everyone else here, right? It's always like an adventure, a crazy way to get here. But um, Right now, but you did, uh, did you go to Brigham Young University? And I, But I only mention that in the okay. context of you, that you made a trip to Israel. I did, that. I did. So tell us, that was your first experience that with was, Israel. That was in like 1999. And... Uh, uh, it was really funny because I'd started um, finally like, getting back into, because my parents were secular Jewish, sure. right, my mother, and so it was much of the chagrin of the rest of the family. And and it was really fun. I started coming here, even going with Brigham Young. And the funny thing about, they're almost Orthodox. Mormons and Orthodox Jews are mm -hmm. almost identical. Mm -hmm. Just add Jesus. It's like a really <laughs> weird thing. Like, just one little thing that's different. Um, not that little. But uh, it was really fun getting to be here and getting to spend time and feel like, and I'm sure because you came here as well, that way you do when you're first here. And you can feel like generations going back. Right, but I didn't feel the first time I was here that I would be coming back. Did Was any seed planted you? Because you did then go on to be a model, an actress, find success in Hollywood. On those trip, that trip to Israel as a youngster, did yeah. you ever even imagine I might end, I may end up here one day? Oh, absolutely. And my favorite thing in the universe is archaeology, specifically like biblical mm -hmm. archaeology. So I was like in heaven the entire time I was here. And I always wanted to come back and uh, continue to study and everything else. And I'm just like, I'm totally going to come back. And then last Last year, um, about a year ago, my father passed away, and my mom, they were married for 54 years, and they were best friends, and she was getting depressed, as one does, mm -hmm. you know, when your partner dies. And like all good Jewish women, she retired to Florida, right? So they were only right, there a few sure. years before my dad passed away, so they didn't have a lot of friends or anything like that, just each other. And she was getting down, and so one of my buddies, you'll know this because you're from New York, from five towns, go Bendelsteins. He was like, why don't you call Nefesh Benefesh and start doing the process for Olya? And I was like, oh, that's a great idea. And so mom and I started it, and I never realized, I thought maybe a couple of years down the road, like she'd come, and then I'd come, and then we'd have a good time. And I came first. Um, and honestly, I came to get away from anti-Semitism, everything that you, know, you were talking about Noah doing in the States. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, because it's, it's wild how things are getting, uh, and you think it's never gonna happen. I remember when my, my grandmother passed away, she said, don't give your kids Jewish names. Right. And I thought that was crazy. I was like, oh, that time has passed, Grandma. Like, we're fine. Right. And uh, I was wrong. I, but I want, you know, there were not many, though, people with your track record in <laughs> Hollywood and showbiz, and I'm sure you've been told this, that have made, that have come here. I mean, Quentin Tarantino was apparently living part of the time in television. Right, right. Because he married a Jewish woman and apparently likes it very much. But again, in those years in Hollywood, when you were in acting uh, uh, in Law and Order and these other pursuing an acting mm -hmm. career successfully, did, did you think this is something I'm going to be doing one day or my future is, is here? Well, and, honestly, I started acting. This is going to sound really stupid to pay for college. Right. And okay. I just happened to get really lucky, really, really lucky. Um, and a lot of it, and a lot of actors don't like to admit this, but so much of it is just luck, right? There's so many people that are just as talented, just as interesting, just as trained. It's just opportunities. And I happened to get some and other people didn't. And so even that now in school, I study archaeology. Right now I had a paper due earlier tonight um, <laughs> on you know, U.S. relations uh, mm -hmm. for the Kennedy School, like so doing a lot of national defense strategy and policy with an emphasis in intelligence. So my interests were always elsewhere. 
Right, political. Yeah. You you actually ran as a political I, candidate? I did. Or as an I independent? Ran, I ran uh, as an independent. That was in New York State, I believe, right? It was, it was. And it was an attempt to get rid of, you know, factionalism. It was obviously totally ill-conceived, but <laughs> you know how it is. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make a difference, and I'd love to do that here because I'm really grateful to Israel. I'm really grateful that I have a place to go. I have a much deeper appreciation of everything that our our ancestors went through, and uh, I'm just really happy to be here. And I'm really, really grateful. Enough now, you've come nice. at, a, at an interesting time for <laughs> Israel, as you know. Uh, maybe for, maybe a graduate of Law & Order, it's a, it's a good time coming with uh, during uh, this uh, discussion about the judicial system. Yeah. Uh, but the, oh, the people talk to you. I mean, this is a time when a lot of Israelis have been talking about leaving uh, Israel. So well, everyone says, like, why did you come? Things are nuts. But things are nuts everywhere. I, I don't know if you've noticed. You know, we've right. got <laughs> Ukraine. Russia war. We've got January 6th in the States. Like, things are crazy. Pretty much Peru went berserk, you know, in mm -hmm. the last year. Um, so it's crazy everywhere. And I know things seem really nuts here right now, but even, even as much as I love politics, I wouldn't even think about getting involved now. It's like, you know, the people that moved to New York and five minutes later, they're mm -hmm. like, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like right. that. We should do this. And you're like, why don't you shut up? You, mm -hmm. Wait till you're here a minute. Right. And so I'm going to be quiet and wait till I'm here a minute. And then I'll decide where I want to Right. Have, have you thought door. about what you might want to do here? Whether the pursuit, like I said, you have a very varied resume. Do people come up to you and say, oh, maybe, I mean, obviously, there is some film production here. Some of it's local, some of it. Do people talk to I know, you about that? I was laughing. That? I was like, ooh, well, I, my Hebrew is non existent because I came so quickly, especially. And then I had that thing like, okay, if I, if I learn Hebrew, then I won't get my citizenship. And then if I don't learn Hebrew, I will get my citizenship. You know, that kind of luck thing? Right. Maybe you don't. So, um, I was right, so I didn't learn Hebrew yet, so that's good. And um, you're going to laugh so hard. Uh, buddies took me to Palm Sunday yesterday, right. and everything, my lips are sunburnt, my eyes, like it was the craziest. There were just lots of nuns. In Jerusalem you're talking that's about. Right. So everything's very dry, hence the water I was like sucking on earlier. Um, but I feel like Marco Rubio after his State of the Union. I was like, eh. Um, so I'd, I'd actually love to work in government, but um, never in politics again, but definitely in government, somewhere that I could help, somewhere I could make a difference, somewhere I could just let everyone know how much I appreciate this country, this opportunity, and I want to contribute. So uh, I just want to ask you about your Aliyah process. Yeah. Nefesh Benefesh uh, assisted you when you approached them. How did they react to having someone with your uh, background and resume say, uh, I want to come to, uh, I want to move to Israel? Honestly, they were amazing. They're so fair to everyone that who I was made no difference to them. And, and that's that's the amazing thing about Nefesh Benefesh. Like, they don't care if you're Reconstructionist, you know what I mean, if you're ultra or they'll help anyone. And so, um, yeah, not a lot of special treatment. Did the process the way it was supposed to be done, and very happy I did, but really appreciative. And the help. people back home, I mean, the people you know, were they surprised by your decision to move to Israel? Did some people even say, you know, why would you want to go to Israel Lots at this point? Lots of people point? asked, yeah. And then even then, you know, you got all this backlash. So even when I, I made the announcement that, yeah, I'm a citizen, you know, you get all the people that are about, like, the Palestinian conflict. And, you know, sure. everyone has these really simplistic views of a very complicated situation. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's just like hair trigger, like, you know, ah, like, get rid of her, get rid of her, get rid of her. And um, so a lot of people think you're crazy. But... That's kind of what life is all about, isn't it? Just doing things that you feel is best for you, and then if everyone thinks you're nuts, mm -hmm. they can have it. And uh, I just want to ask you, yeah. as a Jew, mm -hmm. how does that feel? I mean, do you feel that you fulfilled yourself now uh, in your Jewish identity by coming here? Yeah, well, uh, it's the beginning, right? It's the beginning. I feel like um, I have a definitely different perspective on everything globally now, right? I feel like uh, the way I would view situations in the Mideast before are not the way I view them now. It's very personal. It feels very different. It feels very existential, and it's, it's not the same. And so my perspective has changed uh, incredibly when it comes to those things. And when it comes to uh, my Jewishness, it's really fun. It's just the beginning. So for like the last 15, 20 years, you know, I've been... I've had different temples in you know, Beverly Hills and in New York and in Florida, and so it's been really fun to try and figure out where I fit on the Jewish spectrum. And now I get to find out for real, and I get to participate, and I get to be here for all of it. So. Well, as we say here, a mazel tov yeah. on your Aliyah, so Diane, so and Bahatz uh, success <laughs> you. Uh, in your Aliyah. Diane, thank you for joining us on I-24 News. Thank you.